Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Kenyans, according to the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, NCIC, has warned that the unity of the country will be threatened if the Deputy President, Regali Gashagwa, is impeached by the Senate. The Commission, through its chair, Samuel Kobia, today, warned about the possibility of conflicts between Kenyans if senators uphold the decision of the National Assembly to impeach the Deputy President, Regadi Kashagwa. As you know, senators are on Wednesday and Thursday this week expected to consider the motion before taking a vote. That is what the NCIC, the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, is telling William Samoe Ruto. Remember, William Ruto is also having NIS and must tell him the ground is so hostile. <laughs> and that is why yesterday he was to go and attend a church service at Embu. And he diverted his schedule for that church service. He decided to go into a celebration that was organized at AIC Church, Nairobi, Milimani. But again, remember one thing. I want you to understand where the mess started. Wakati maali mvua ilianza kutulima vizuri, ni pale ya National Assembly. Remember, when this impeachment motion was tabled before the National Assembly, this was with due respect, according to the Article 1 of the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya, where the Constitution quotes the people's power. You know? In, in Amanisha, when the motion was tabled before the National Assembly, and the Constitution directed that before that impeachment continued, they were to have a public participation. But you just imagine, according to the records that were read by Meli Odiambo, the minority in the National Assembly, shows that 225,000 Kenyans only participated in this public participation. And remember, we are about 50 million Kenyans. Is this an interest of some individuals? I want you to listen to the lawyer of Rigad Geshago complaining about the public participation. But what do you see? The total number of people who took part in this public participation is 224,907. Hello. Out of over 50 million Kenya, Kenyans who have attained the age of 18, because of the shortness of the notice, only 224,907 were able to participate. But no, that is Disney. That is not public participation. The Supreme Court has said the notice must be reasonable must be adequate, the public participation must be meaningful, not a show. Well, 224 or 225, even if you are to leave aside the 50 million Kenyans who are above the age of 18, even the registered voters are 14 million. This is demonstration of the fallacy of the mockery of the public participation. Again on the same note, eh? remember when this impeachment motion was tabled and the public participation was done, then the prosecutors were these members of parliament. You just imagine today you are going to court. You are an accused person. Then, judge, judge, exhaust your charges. 
kabla hata hajasoma ni nini wameamua ni nini ya amesha sema you are sentence is the same this members of parliament even during the voting they were so emotional you could hear someone shouting you know as if they never went to school no on the same note we expected this members of parliament to come out and give their views i'm supporting this impeachment because according to my debate and according to my realization this and this and this charges it is true and i'm supporting this impeachment of regarding one would really want to see how does the, how will the senate treat a record huh, from the high court that is so bare and that never really interrogated the issues for the day how will it react to a scenario whereby people are voting excuse the word phrase voting like sheep practically like you just stand up you don't say i have read the charges understood them and i am <coughs> supporting them that was not permitted and this is a constitutional process these are legal issues in law you say if somebody came to court the prosecutor said nothing about the charges because these were like prosecutors and the witnesses then it would be very difficult to convict now the actual court doing the conviction is a senate but what is what is its record in the future i hope that the standing orders and they are being challenged i believe <coughs> about their constitutionality you cannot treat the removal of a deputy president like a public emergency like you are doing it within 14 days even a chicken thief in this country is not tried within a month and, <laughs> and so i think for me it is a time now that senators on thursday to redeem themselves because already we don't have trust in national assembly can these senators redeem themselves and I, i want to tell you if the senate is going to uphold the impeachment of rigadi gashago then starting on thursday this week the national assembly is going to be so useless because kenyans will divert their attention that now the senate assembly is more important than even national assembly but remember in our land the national assembly is so powerful but those who are in that house they are as useless as the way you can see them very useless you know but sometimes you can just sit watch the way they are arguing you are like was this man leaving his mind at the gate when he was entering the house because they are reasoning as if their heads are empty that is it so i think this message from the national cohesion and integration commission and remember william ruto is also having an nis that is telling him the impeachment of rigadi gashago is going to create a lot of repercussions and consequences against your government that is it it is not a matter of argument but it is a matter of truth I told you here you might see regarding Gashagwa as someone who does not have support but on the same note Kenyans on the same note mark this word impeachment of regarding Gashagwa was not a priority was not a priority was not a priority and that is why even William Ruto himself is fearing to attend church service in mount kenya region at is on development tours and aogopa why because nis washamwambia ground ni kubaya ground ni kubaya the same other independent institutions are telling william ruto be very careful with this impeachment of regard gashago it might not be business as usual it might be trouble after trouble mark this hmm? but again because william ruto with this punis they are not listening to the so called advices they the, they are being told they just there emotional people like imani shungo sometimes i ask myself was imani shungo educated or not sometimes sometimes if you are a leader it is not necessary always to come and face off some situations like this impeachment of regard gashago it is unnecessary because this just and it is just a type of 
conflict of interest. Yes? Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.